Welcome back everyone. In our last video, we were able to finally go to the Atlas interface and start our journey with Atlas. Now we've made a jump to a new system and I've been notified that there is an anomaly nearby, an alien anomaly. So now we're going to go investigate that and see what we find. All right, where is this anomaly? There it is. Let's get away from the space station so we can actually engage the pulse drive. So you get this notification. As soon as you jump into the system. And here we are. Let's see what we find inside this anomaly. Okay, so we're gonna go right through the door. Okay, so as we enter, this instantly looks a little different than what we had last time at the Atlas interface. This looks very draconian or very industrial. All right, so eventually, okay, I was gonna say eventually it's gonna put us down. Okay, so we're inside. Now we're gonna hit up inside the anomaly itself and see what we find. Looks like we got a couple of guys here. A Gek and a Corvax. All right, let's go talk to, let's go talk to this guy. I hope it's, his name is not indicative of the information he's gonna give us. Priest Entity Nada. Okay, assistance offered, route to Galactic Core, reconnect with Atlas. Uh, that's, let's see, as I approach the electronic being, it springs to life from its dark mask, scanning beams emerge to envelop me. So another acid trip. But this time it gets to speak my language. It offers me a choice it can show me how to harness black holes in order to embark on a journey to the center of the galaxy. Okay, so basically black holes are a way that rather than go in one system at a time and instead of being thousands of light years away from the center, you can actually jump hundreds of light years at a time. So greatly speeding things up. It can also light my way on the, to an Atlas interface or it can assist me in my own exploration. So I guess this time, we're gonna ask for some resources, I guess. Okay, so it gives me a blueprint that I already have. Excellent, that was. All right, let's see what this guy's got for me. Polo, first name Marco. Friends everywhere, if you know where to look, all shapes and sizes and places. All right, and he wants to know some information, so I'm going to share with him all my data. All right, and there we go. We now have the blueprint for the Atlas Pass version one, and it's very simple, some heridium and some iron, and that's going to get us in to where we want to be. Now this guy, what in the world is he looking at? Wow. Now over here, let's see what, we have a new tool that is actually, wow, it's actually less than what we have. It has one slot less. So we don't want that. All right, I'm also, Dying to know, can I go through here? Nope, can't go through there. 
What about through here? Can I, nope, can't go through there either. All right, so we have the ability to create an atlas pass. And there it is. Now, this atlas pass is not uh, consumable, meaning that unlike bypass chips, as soon as you use it, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't go away uh, so that it's consumed with the transaction and now you have to make another one. So thankfully, we don't have to worry about that here. All right, well, guys, actually, this is going to be a short video. I just wanted to show you how our path toward the center uh, changes a little bit now. Now we have our, we've seen our first anomaly. We've gotten our Atlas Pass. And so now we're ready to head on into further adventures.